Hi everyone, Derek here from Matricon. Today I have with me Jason Fletcher, our general manager, and we're excited to tell you about our latest release of Matricon Data Broker version 2.3. Now in this release, based on feedback we got from customers and following our roadmap, uh, we have added a number of key functions and increased performance and also simplified some of the workflows when working with huge amounts of data as you're importing it into the system. So to tell us more about this, let's turn it over to Jason. Jason, what do we have? Thanks, Derek. Yeah, that's right. So first out of the gate, we've added the ability to publish OPC UA alarms and conditions data to the cloud via MQTT. And to make that even easier for our users, we've created a utility that allows them to generate large node set files or node lists so that those, mm -hmm. those tags, large amounts of tags, can be published to, uh, to the cloud and created very easily. Um, in addition to that, in the core of Data Broker, we've added the ability to create bulk mapping items within Excel. So all those users that are very used to working with Excel, you can create large lists of items, map those into existing items in the Data Broker, and uh, everything goes quick and easy. Right, and actually that's, that's a key feature because as we see traction pick up for uh, companion specifications, uh, OPC UA companion That's specifications, right. where you're bringing in uh, information models that are standardized either within your company or within your industry, the key thing there is that you can take all your federated data that's sitting inside Data Broker and pick and choose which pieces you want to map to the imported data type and then work with the data type, type as though it was a native exact type. Yeah. Right. And now with this, you're able to do that on a large scale. So when you have hundreds of thousands of items, which many of our customers actually, that's what they work with, uh, it's a lot easier now to grab that list, prune it, work with it in Excel, pump it out, and you basically establish all the mapping. So it just makes it much easier to set up and maintain going into the exactly. The future. Yes. Now also aside from that, uh, I also we have something for OEMs or other vendors, right? So that's tell us right. About that. So also in this release, we've added uh, localization. So that means the product itself can be configured for local languages, and making it really ideal for putting into your hardware solution or into your software solution. Plus on top of that, we've always had the ability to run on Linux or in containers, so it makes the deployment and usability of the product that much simpler. So great, we're yeah. excited about that as well. That's a great function. So yeah, and that's that's really key because data, uh, Matricon Data Broker, I mean, as a data technology, it's not only meant for end users, which of course we are servicing from the, from the get-go, it's also important to note that we're also aiming to help vendors. We see often that vendors approach us uh, who have advanced applications or whatever types of applications that they're developing, and they want to focus on the actual functionality that they're providing, not necessarily all the underlying data technology stuff. Whether you're a cloud provider or working in the cloud services area and you need that access to the data below, you can make Data Broker part of your own package we can uh, OEM it and you can use that as your own solution. So whether you are an end user looking to use MDB or as some of the vendors who approach us are working uh, to actually bring that into their, their product, uh, Matricon Data Broker can uh, assist both. All right, so there's a lot to see there. Uh, we encourage you to, of course, check out our website, download it, read up on the literature, and uh, yeah, hope you like it. Anyhow, uh, until the next time, see you next time. See you, okay. thanks. Cheers, thanks guys.